I want to talk a little bit about um, <clears throat> loving kindness with regards to some of those more deeply held longings in the heart. I think it's quite widely assumed that in the pursuit of love we initially might set off in search of a soulmate or that other half that completes us in some way. And it's true that extraordinary amount of learning and fulfillment and many great journeys are taken, shared with another. But it's also equally likely that we seek companionship with another to fill a gap within ourselves that we didn't manage to fill. The heart does long for love. But it longs to know what love really is. And its deepest longing is not to find that love that it puts all its hopes and aspirations in that meeting with that perfect person who completes us, however rewarding that might be. It longs to know the nature of love itself which does not differentiate. It does not need to find that perfect manifestation of our ideal of that person that we hope will love us love needs no recognition in return love is willing to go utterly unnoticed in this world pouring forth nothing but goodwill extraordinary feeling of gratitude for the coming into being itself Beyond this idea of seeking a personal love is this higher aspiration to know what we might call God. So many religions have been built on it, so many ideas put forth, so many views held, so many wars fought with people arguing about what God might be and who's God and nobody knows. Not one person who went to war with another person over the nature of God had any idea really what they were fighting about. If you are hoping one day <clears throat> that your prayers to a personal deity will be the salvation and the cessation of your suffering, then you have failed to take accountability for the role you have played in the position that you find yourself in. This world, this universe and everything in it is perfect. There is not a hair out of place and there is nothing wrong with the position you find yourself in. It's always perfect. It is a perfect reflection of those conditions that you brought into being that put you in exactly the position you are right now. It was never going to be anything other than that. It could never have been anything other than that. So the time you waste wishing it was something else, hoping it might become something else, asking why it is like this, is all wasted time. There is no satisfaction ever to be gained from asking questions like that. Only when you can understand, of course, it was always going to be like that, can you make your peace with it. What you might call God is that perfection which means there is not a hair out of place. 
that principle, which is the cause by which all of this comes into being. And it's perfect. And if you're suffering, and you're finding it hard, it's because you didn't come to terms with it, because you didn't make your peace with it. When you look to nature, you might try to understand it. You might try to fathom the order as a plant grows, produces a flower and a seed, and reflect upon the cycles of it. You might look to the elements of nature and try to understand how they work. And no matter how much sense you'll make of it, you become lost in the flesh and the bone of it and fail to spot that it is arising effortlessly all the time and resting effortlessly within itself. And that the only things on the planet that aren't resting effortlessly with themselves are those human beings that didn't make peace with themselves. Let go of this idea that we are the divine expression. We have every possibility to be that. Not only that, what we have, what the rest of nature does not have, is the capacity to understand that we can be or are that. But don't take that potential, that capacity, that ability to understand as a sign that you are that. We are a testimony to the interference with that divine principle. And our confusion, our despair, our difficulties and our hardships are nothing more than a perfect reflection of that interference with that divine principle. So if you want to know God, let go. Stop holding things in this extraordinary state of tension. Let it resolve itself effortlessly. And when you can rest effortlessly in that unheld state, your heart will be still. You will know God. You may not find it in your church, however long you kneel at your pew and pray. But you will find it when you stand out in nature and you learn to enter into the way of things and spot the gap from which it's effortlessly arising. There does not need to be friction on this planet. The law of nature is a pure and perfect response. That it's out of balance, in a state of friction, is only on the account of interference. As is your life, if it's out of balance and in a state of friction, it's because you're interfering with that process which is perfect. If you want to know love, you have to find that space, that gap, that stillness in your heart, behind all the elaborations of your mind, and all your ideas and views and what you think love might be, and allow it to arise effortlessly from that stillness. And then you'll look out at the world and you'll see everything as a perfect mandala of pure love. When you can see what it was that caused it to come into being, you'll see that it is perfect. And you'll see nothing but love everywhere. And that's God. So don't sit and wait 
hoping that it might appear to you one day in your time of need. Reach down and help you out of your difficulty. Put respect to those divine beings that have reached that state of sublime grace who are in a position to be of assistance to those who are not but do not depend upon them to bring you out of suffering only you can bring yourself out of suffering and when you know that you have in your heart the power to work out your happiness, your peace in the knowledge you need not look anywhere else expecting anyone else to give it to you hoping one day someone might have your answer think about it in the gap between those notes on the piano you can hear the heart of the man who played it find that gap rest in the gap and allow yourself to just arise effortlessly and find your pure expression of love